Kathy Fletson, nurse practitioner. We're gonna start with a disclaimer. This is not medical advice, recommendations, or a diagnosis. This does not take the place of a wild child check or a sick visit. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please see your healthcare provider or your pediatrician. Today's topic is brought to you by several questions that I've been getting um, in the office over the past few weeks. This subject seems to be coming up a lot. And so I just wanna throw it out there for all of you parents to hear um, straight from me. You know, being a new mom, um, whether it's a new mom for the first time or a new mom, again, uh, having that baby there just just creates a lot of stress in general. You know, we've, we've been pregnant for 40-ish weeks. <clears throat> we've just given birth. We come home. Um, and things get a little stressful. <clears throat> we always second guess ourselves as parents, um, especially when it comes to tending to a new bundle of joy. We just want the absolute best for them. Um, and so I understand and appreciate the stress that, that each parent is going through. What I do want to recommend to you, I guess, or um, help distress is the feeding regimen, right? It is no secret that breastfeeding is absolutely the best form of milk for your littles. Um, it's a natural, it comes straight from the mom. It, it is, it's the best that you could absolutely offer. Reality of it is though, not all moms produce enough milk. Not all moms have the ability to nurse um, and not all babies nurse well. It is a learned trait um, for, for many babies. And it takes a lot of practice for many babies. With that comes extra frustration and extra stress on the mom. So um, my spiel here recently over and over has been a fed baby is a happy baby and a happy baby equals a happy mom and happy parents. A fed baby is a well baby. As long as they're getting fed, they're perfect. So if you find yourself, you know, obsessing over trying to get a perfect latch or not sure if your baby's getting enough or <clears throat> constantly worrying and constantly retrying to latch or, or pumping to see if you get milk, stop, breathe, relax. And you might want to supplement for a day or two. You might want to take a step back let someone else feed your baby with a bottle until you can mentally prepare yourself for a good breastfeeding experience. So with that being said, the key point to take away is a day of bottle feeding, a day of whatever formula you want, a two days of that is not going to deter your baby from breastfeeding, okay? Um, it is okay to supplement with a bottle if needed. It is okay to supplement with formula if needed. We even have um, babies who come in who we really need to break that mom-baby cycle um, due to increased uh, bilirubin or jaundice. Um, and so that is our recommendation. We supplement with a formula and then after 24, 48 hours, we go back to breastfeeding, okay? Now, long term, if you continue to bottle feed or if you continue to formula feed, there may be some inversion. It may be a little more difficult long term. But in the interim, in those first few days of life, when things are just overly stressed um, and hormones for moms are going crazy, just know a fed baby is a happy baby. A happy baby is a happy mama. And we want all of you mamas to feel secure and safe and super happy and enjoy the moment as much as you possibly can. Like I said, if you do have any further questions or you need some clarification, please see your healthcare provider or your pediatrician.